All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. We are at Amber Lake, fifty-seven one thirty-eight. If you happen to be there for my stream on Twitch yesterday, um, I actually tried this spot yesterday, and it was not very good for me at the time. Today, it's uh, it's been on fire. It's been really good. Um, I guess Amun was the one who recommended I come back and try it again. And I am certainly glad that I did. I will say that the main thing I'm doing different now is we are using the same baits and same PVA on all three lines. And I think that probably is the way to go. Um, what we are using, as I will show you, is Mulberry 15 pop-up, Mulberry pulper, uh, Purple Corn, Artificial Corn, uh, Mulberry Dip, and then a Mulberry PVA that I'll show you in a minute here. We are clipped at 20 and you're really just casting, just like I showed yesterday in the Twitch uh, just stream, just casting straight out sort of at that one meter hole in the, in the um, center of this pond. And so there are lots of baits and bait combos that are working here. It seems like probably the best options are the fruity flavors. So whether you're going with mulberry like I am or doing banana, um, there was another one, Tutti Fruity, is also one that a lot of folks were saying is working. I think probably the way to go is just to look at the weeklies. If there's a specific carp you're wanting to target, kind of see which ones of those are showing up on the weeklies. And, um, and just give it a try. Let's go ahead and get all these back in the water, though. I had run back to the store to make a new stack of PVA. And so we had all three rods going by the time we got back, which is showing you this pretty decent bite right here. So let's look at this mulberry PBA we just made. This is what is in the mulberry PBA. This PVA mix is something that I've used in the past with mulberry. It's not necessarily, um, I have no idea what other folks are using in this spot for their mul mulberry baits. I think the important part is probably the baits, but the PVA does seem to really help. So this is what we're using. It's got some crushed boilies, so it's a pretty expensive PVA. It's got three sets of crushed boilies. Two of them are pop-up mulberry. One of them's pop-up black currant, and then it has some black currant feed pellets. The base is made of rye bran, and the attractant is mulberry. So that's what we're using here. Um, and I guess the other thing here is to show you sort of what we've caught. I'm not going to go on and on about this spot. Um, if another fish gets on in the next couple minutes, I'll show you what we catch, but, uh, it's basically a high volume carp spot. And, um, so far this is what we've been catching. So we're just at an hour now with 59 carp, uh, pretty good percentages in terms of how fast the bites are coming in. And, uh, yeah, we're getting some small commons, some small carp in general, but plenty of nice size ones mixed in haven't hit any trophies yet but other folks that have been fishing this spot a little longer have seen some trophies the other fun thing about this spot is you do have a chance of some of the rare species specifically the common goat carp ghost um, so if you don't haven't caught one of those yet or you want to increase the size of your largest one that you've caught of that species this spot does seem to give you a chance for that um, I think if you, one, one of the reasons why I chose Mulberry, and I looked at several things. Um, I had been using Mulberry recently anyway, so I kind of had our, all those baits set up and ready to go. But um, there's another nice frame, and I've seen a lot of nice frames here. I'll take you through all the specific species that we've caught in just a second in this spot. But um, if you look at the records list right now, overall weekly records for the common ghost, um, You'll see that at least four of them have mulberry on there. We've got mulberry purple, mulberry yellow, mulberry purple, and mulberry purple. So you never know when, and this one's raspberry and mulberry, two pop-up boilies together. You never know when, again, you know, we've talked about this before, but sometimes just like baits become like, oh, mulberry seems to really be working now. And then all of a sudden everyone's using it, so that's what it looks like the best fish are coming in as. Uh, it's not always the case that you have to use that. Obviously, you might catch some really nice common ghosts on bananas or something else. But I can confirm that that seems to be working here, and there does seem to be a a rare chance of you know of of catching those those um, those ghosts every once in a while here. 
So let's get this fish in. If we have a break in the action before we wrap it up, I will sort of walk you through. Um, that's the downside of this spot, I would say. It's a high enough volume that it doesn't really matter, but you are catching plenty of small commons. Thankfully, that's not all we're catching, but let's start with the commons. And if you look by weight, there's definitely been some trophies caught in this spot. But if you look at the bottom here, you know, that's 12, 13, under 3 kilos. So quite a few of the smaller end, but plenty of the biggers as well. I showed you the common carp ghost. We also have had plenty of frame sided. Some really nice frame sided. Those have tended to be bigger. Um, on average, we haven't had as many tiny frames like we have with the commons. Linears have not been as many, but those have been pretty good. Uh, mirrors, same as the linears, about five or six on those. And then look at these tench, pretty nice tench. I haven't had any undersized, they've all been markers. And this one was uh, almost four kilos, which is a really nice fish to add to the range of things that you catch here. So uh, nighttime was really good, but honestly, the bites have been going all day. If you're binge watching Tiger King or some other show on Netflix or Amazon or whatever, this is a pretty entertaining place to have, uh, to have fishing in the, in the background. Constant bites, you're in the pond, you're not gonna get spooled. You can just sort of wear those fish out, even if you don't have the hefty gear. This is a pretty safe place to catch some really nice carp right now. So there's an undersized one. I'm going to say in an hour of fishing, I might have caught four or five that were undersized. I mean, I think we've made fish pieces four or five times in the last hour or so. So not too bad, but they're, they are coming in some, but most of them are markers. Uh, let's real quick go and I'm not going to actually sell fish right now, but I will show you kind of what they're we're just over an hour now, so let's see how much silver, without cafe orders, how much silver we're making. I've already turned in two cafe orders, I believe. So when you hit some cafe orders, obviously the silver is going to go up significantly. But just based on selling to the um, the market, this should be a pretty pretty decent silver rate. Um, and it's close enough that I've also not been accruing the cost of buying tickets. Yeah, that's almost 600 silver. So, um, by the way, let's see how much that... I wanted to see how far down you get to the ghost. A barely marker ghost. How much is it worth? 2.81 silver. I don't know at what size it starts to like really go up, but those are worth a lot of silver when you get decent sized ones. So, I guess I still have an active, um, an active ticket from yesterday... So that means from the time we were here at Amber streaming yesterday, I've not been logged in for five total days if this ticket still has time on it. So we'll use it a little bit, but let's see if we have one last fish or two on, or if we can be patient and catch one more fish. And, uh, and then we'll wrap this video up. No reason in, in, in doing a long video here. Just wanted to show you this spot. I think the, um, the other, pop-up boilies we were using. So we had banana pop-up with banana artificial corn or yellow artificial corn. And then I think the other one was Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti 18 pop-up, either brand with, um, with, with, isn't there an artificial corn that actually has Tutti Frutti? Yeah, Tutti Frutti red or Tutti Frutti yellow. And then there's the banana flavor, yellow or regular. I think we were doing the yellow so all those are working good in this spot, but my favorite, because of seeing that weekly list on the common go, uh, common carp ghost has been the mulberry. If I sit here for a while, I may try some of the other, other ones some more too. So there's another undersized one. Hopefully it's going to start picking up here as we're getting towards night uh, in terms of the quality of them. But I like this spot. It's been, it's been really good. Um, Silver wise, very comparable to how bear, how good bear's been. I'd say this spot and bear are both, you know, solid A's in my mind. So thank you for uh, checking this video out. I hope it's helpful as you look for spots to make some good silver. I know you're saving up for all of that gear you want to buy. I talk to a lot of people lately that are saving for a really nice reel or a really nice carp rod and 
just trying to find some good spots to make progress towards that. And I think this one is certainly a good option for you. I was hoping one more really nice fish would come in, but we're on a little bit of a, of a, uh, a roll on these undersized ones. I'm not sure why. Probably just because the video is running. You can see the bite rate, though, for carp to have the bite rate be this high is actually pretty phenomenal. Well, this will be a little bit better. You know that it's good when, yeah, we've caught plenty of commons here, but as far as the silver amount you're going to make when it's not like 90% commons, that, that's right off the bat going to help your silver intake a lot. Good grief, it's already going off again. That's another tiny one though. I was hoping that would be a tinch because of how small it is. All right, we need to put PVA back. So we're... Fresh stack of PVA, and I think I've got the ingredients to make another one without even having to leave. Yeah, they're just really small right now, and you never know. It could be the weather. It could be um, just random RNG, but we are definitely going through a... Wow, that's a big deal, guys. Personal maximum total weight caught in one day. For that to happen in my on my main account here, that shows that this is... A really nice spot, at least, if nothing else, at least in terms of volume. Okay, well, I guess we'll catch one more fish. I keep trying to find a breaking point, and then I know as soon as I do, the trophy's going to come in, but such is life. I'll tell you about it next video if it happens. That looks like a fun fish. Look at the coloration. Guess what that is, guys? There you go. Well, if we were looking for a closing point... It's hard to beat the common carp ghost coming in over four kilos. That's a nice closing point. Thanks for watching. See you next time.